Welcome to TestTube, a place where we can share our knowledge through short videos. You can send me the videos to that email shown in over here and I will publish it for you with your name on it. The video can be anything about any problem that you have faced and how you have solved it. In this video, we are going to see how to implement page object model in Catalon the way we implement it in Selenium. Let's see. Before we see how page object model is implemented in Catalon, let us see how the same is implemented in Selenium. And even before that, first let's try to understand what is page object model. So, uh, any application will consist of objects on which some actions are performed which will result in some responses which we validate as our as per our test case so object is going to be a final element and it will be too much in number for any application so over the period of time it will be very tough to maintain the objects so some concept called page object model is brought into picture so that it becomes easily maintainable for any application uh, wherein we can keep all the objects at one place and maintain them so that uh, we can change if anything is changed for that application over a period of time for that respective object so we don't have to go into the code and do the changes instead we can go to the repository or a place where we store these objects and do the changes so without touching major majority of the code we can uh, do this in very easy way which will makes our life easy for maintenance so now uh, this is a sample selenium project which has implemented page object model we can see there are many pages over here now we are going to see a demo for this orange page so this has a list of objects which are uh, buttons and images that we click on edit boxes and we use so these are the list of objects for that orange page and add employee is going to be our test case which we are running so add employee has two tests one is to login and another one is to add an employee let me run this one quickly and then we'll discuss how this is implemented in catalog As we see, it has launched the orange HRM page. It has entered the credentials and it clicked on login. And it has clicked on admin and it clicked on add. It tried to add an employee, but the employee has been there already. That's why it couldn't store it. But anyways, uh, we have seen that this test case is run successfully and no failures. Now let us see the same thing is done in Catalon. So before we see how this is implemented in Catalon, let's talk about the existing framework, which is a built-in framework that comes with the Catalon. So Catalon already has something called object repository. Uh, this is the place we can actually store the objects of various pages that we use in our application under test. So in that way, Catalan has already the implementation of page object model. Uh, but still if you want to have an experience or something similar to how you do it by yourself like the way you do it in selenium this is still possible in catalon so now this is the example uh, here I'm not going to use this object repository to store my objects instead um, I'm doing something similar to what is done in selenium so for that I have used this feature called keywords so I have a package page object factory which is defined over here and it has orange page class which has my objects like the way it is there in my selenium so it is exactly same as what it is in selenium so you can see the same is in catalon so I use these objects now and there are some tests already written uh, but here we have feature called keyword uh, wherein we can store our methods so I'm going to call these keywords in my test case 
to run this so I call this login HRM keyword and then add employee keyword which are in my reuse I mean reusable keywords so login HRM and then add employee See? I just call those two keywords and that's it so let me run this one as we can see um, it is running it has long logged launch the HRM page and it has entered the credentials and clicked on login button and it uh, clicked on admin page right it clicked on add button to add an employee it has added the employee successfully in this case the employee is created because the employee is not exist in here already that's why it has created sell to catalon 10 employee you can see here so since i don't want it i'll delete it but okay anyways i'll do it later so this is how page object model is achieved in catalon the way it is it is implemented in selenium so yeah that, that's how it is done and there is another test i just wanted to show you so this is again we are using directly the selenium test over here so this is called selenium to catalon migration so here what we have done is we have called the selenium scripts itself and they are over here so you can see um, see the selenium uh, folder structures and the framework over here so the framework is brought in over here and this is our test case which will call that framework and run it as it is so in the migration we are actually you know not building anything we are just calling the existing selenium tests from that existing selenium framework and it is going to run run the same thing but however if you want to implement it the page object model separately uh, you can do like i have shown just now so yeah that's the, the difference of using existing selenium framework in catalon and another way is you you implement by yourself uh, a page object model uh, setup in catalon with the help of keywords so you can see this, uh, the migration test case is also success so yeah now we have run the same test in selenium and we have run the same test in catalon using the page object model the way we implemented it in selenium and we have run the same test by third method which is migrating the existing selenium framework to catalon so yeah this is how this can be done and thanks for watching and if you have any uh, problem solving videos like this please send it via email mm, our goal is to you know share as much knowledge as possible to as many people as possible and always remember uh, sharing the knowledge will in fact uh, increase your knowledge so that's what we believe in please subscribe to our channel thank you